But soldiers are pretty useful now. They can build and harvest and all do all, all those things because hard, like patrolling around doesn't really do much. Let's see if we can make some better armor also. We should be able to do that. Oh, okay, we need Fred as well. Oh, that's pretty good defense. So we need to have a weaver. I do think we maybe made a spin already, maybe? I'm gonna make one. So do anything we grow count as um, something we can make weaving with? Often used as fetching. We do get silkweed at level 2 farmer. Something that can be good uh, with this kingdom and also with Nordlings is to disable jobs for a few people. Because if they do level up as the normal workers, they will actually level slower as other professions later. And also we will have a few people that we actually want to have as farmers. And they will probably be able to level up a little bit faster. Flargan is... Can we promote the cook before he goes up as a worker? Yes, we can. So he doesn't really need to learn any more farming. So we can only have like Kitana and uh, Utemaru to do the farming. Then it should be able to level, level faster when it can do more work around. Yeah, we... <laughs> All of our people have pretty good stats. It looks like we are going to beat the daily goal for the net worth the next day it looks like. Or actually, is it this day or did we miss it? We need to level a little bit more with our Mason. Getting pretty close to level 2. I wonder what I wanna what I wanna make. I mostly wanna get up a level so we can do a cook spoon and also trap with a knife later. Blacksmith hammer. Ooh! I thought it said Toto Lantern first, but it was Toro Lantern. A classical stone lantern. I'm gonna check that one out. I guess we can make some uh, fence pieces. Maybe find some use for them later. Hello, trader. Free table for one, and we will get the free large crate. I don't want to do that one. Can I get you to do push ups? <laughs> I don't have it added yet. Hmm. <laughs> Having like a push up things for streaming, though, I, think, I feel like that could be something pretty good. Then we get some uh, extra exercising, and that's always nice. It looks like all these um, grown here, there's like F on everyone. F, 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 F. <laughs> it's the F crop. Now it can never be unseen. <laughs> they do build these houses pretty fast, at least. Maybe we can take one of my old houses and uh, redesign it to a new one. Ooh! I haven't seen this one. So this is one of the templates for the, in this mod. Oh, there's another cool one down there. Uh, but this is uh, like a bar. Check it out. Ooh! That's one of the, um, I think, rabbit doors. That's pretty interesting and no furniture in it though. Uh, but I want to see the other one down there. That one looks pretty cool. I like the roof on this one. I like this thing. Skull. <laughs> Cheers. Um, 
This is... I'm liking this. This is pretty awesome. Probably gonna use that ID. Okay, so that's for the Mason. Uh, let's maybe... While they're busy things... Maybe we can just try to kind of use the ID that they had for the house with the roof there. Every town needs a bar, yes. <laughs> and some needs even more than one. I'm just gonna try to like make a little bit of a bigger than this house. Here we go. So let's see how this one turns out, if it's mostly like a square house. I'm not sure how well that shape is going to work with these houses. I guess like with this house, like we have the that side, maybe we can make it go in a little bit here. One of the sides. Do it like that, and let's see how they did with the roof here. Oh, this one goes out very far on the sides. Hmm. I wonder how. Right, I'm off to work now. Catch you later, Bantu san. Good to see you, P3, and uh, have a great uh, day at work today, man. Thanks for being here today. Yeah, let's win a little bit more again, and then we're gonna try to do something like that. If this is a good idea to do that on top tier, hmm. Let's give it maybe a try and we will see how it ends up looking. And yeah, one thing that I should have done from the beginning is to lower this. Because it just looks a lot better. Like these are also lowered. They're only like four in height pretty much. So. This one could actually maybe go down one more step then, I suppose. See where the door is first. Damn your doors! <laughs> oh, maybe I can fake the door and have it outside there? If I remove the wall, at least, then I can uh, put it there. The door bounces back, yes indeed. <laughs> if I do it this way, I can cheat the game a little bit. 
It's just when it's trying to like cut out from the wall that it bugs out. Nice, another person, very nice. I don't know if I want this to be like square. I maybe want it to... These two sides to go out a little bit. Then maybe let's see what happens if we would Hello, this time I am personally visiting in an official capacity to view our your outpost, we at Imperial Protectorate are very impressed with your outpost progress and have decided that it's time to officially update your member status to settlement before we can do that. It is customary to choose a harf to represent your town. Okay, so I wonder which ones we got with these guys. Harf of Sheer, Harf of Makers and Harf of Glory, so there are some new models for them. Um, which one do you guys think we should go for? Half of Sheer, Makers or Glores? So this one is to make your people happy. It's pretty fun because this one gives uh, some um, random buffs every day. Uh, Half of Makers is also pretty nice. Half of Glory we can allow to summon enemies, which is also pretty cool. Half of Glory, that's the one for war pretty much. With that one we can summon enemies and fight them. It's pretty good because you also... You get a lot of loot from having this one. Like if you can get some like turrets and stuff like that, we can farm really easily. This is a cheerful town. You like that one? It doesn't feel maybe like an... Um, War town or something like that. It doesn't feel like that. It feels like a pretty relaxed town. Maybe Harvest here would be more fitting for us. This buff is also pretty nice. It has some weird stuff. I think it can rain down like chickens from the sky and stuff. <laughs> I'm saying that one with uh, fit like a warrior town. Which one? It's like farming and helping people with stuff. Yeah, this one is pretty much for making people happy, and this one is crafting, and this one is uh, fighting, pretty much. I'm gonna go for... Let's go for Sheer, guys. Let's try to get our people happy. And we can also, if we want to later, if we decide to go for the other one, we can also... Abandon, and we can select a different one. Go for the first one. Okay, nice. We actually have three merry people, that's good, but we also need to get some uh, better prepared food and also people gotta be at least content. Okay, let's see. I wonder how this one is gonna turn out. I have a feeling that it's maybe not gonna turn out super good with this on top here. We should lower this, yes. Let's see, like that. I'm just gonna remove that for now, and then maybe later we will add it back. So I'm gonna do a roof, I think, similar to this one. I'm gonna make some tea, and one else needs something from the kitchen, and bring me some popcorn. <laughs> I might make some popcorn later, actually. Do I have some micro... micro popcorn? Or microwave? Let's 
I'm starting to like the house more. I feel like it's starting to take shape. So now we're gonna do like a part like that. Fearsome Goblin. The goblin approaches, revealing itself a bit shorter than expected. Bones, bones! They should shout, they shout playfully. Almost childish voice. Bones, they'll continue. It seems to be harmless. Bones, they clearly happy about it. Hopping around with circles. Bones, 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 many bones. Sounds a stern and yet compassionate and harfling voices rumbles nearby. Do you are, Ratley? Where's the colors of the Northern Alliance? Ah, thank you for subscribing, Lego, Lego Red Dragon. Thank you, thank you. Super kind of you, man. I'm surprised and there is not a dragon house. Like a house with a dragon on it? Uh, let's see here then. He wears the colors of the Northern Alliance. Strong and grizzled. He rests his hand on the head of the little goblin. So there you are. You're going out and making friends, eh? He notices the people around. I apologize. Name's Forelv, traveler and former scout of the library. With a gentle pat on the goblin, goes back to jumping around. Dragon head in the front. That would be pretty awesome, right? Like if we make like an... Uh, temple for the dragon. It sort of makes me think of uh, the Disney movie Mul Mulan. With the Mushu. The little red dragon. <laughs> temple or a castle. Greetings. Ratley is like a daughter to me. He says with a bittersweet smile, I'm the reason she's alone in the world. And she is the reason I left the library. One watches over the other now. He laughs, shoving away the past back where it belongs. I know you're busy, so we'll find a place for camp for some days. He waves his hand, calling Ratley closer. Sure. Oh, it was almost forgetting. He scratches the back of his head with a smirk. I'll be busy setting up camp and we won't have time to hunt so soon. Would you mind gifting little Ratley a couple of bones? The little goblin wrecks it. Bones, give bones! Turulf stares back at Ratley. What have I told you? She looks down. Please. Turulf smiles. We would appreciate it. She loves carving them. Ratley is such a cute little blue goblin. Your bones back up. <laughs> Good, the hex exclaims before turning around. We've been nearby. Stay warm. They start walking away. Farewell, farewell. Bones for Ratley. So we don't really have much bones, but we are working towards getting a trap where that way we can get bones and also if we do dig it down in the dirt, sometimes we actually get bones from just mining the dirt. Maybe in the stone in the mountain as well, but I do know that you can get it from mining dirt and stuff, so that's pretty pretty nice. But once again, thank you for subscribing Lego the Red Dragon. Hope you are having a good good night. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Give Rattle a bone, but you're keeping your skulls, okay? <laughs> Sounds like a deal. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it is fine. It's, it's good to be a lurker also. Thank you, man. Sometimes it's pretty chill to just be in a stream and then do whatever you want to do, like clean the room, clean your house, clean or whatever. It's pretty chill. I do that also when I watch uh, some live streams. I, I tend to play some games while I watch other people play games. It's pretty nice. Ok, 
Okay, I feel like that's looking pretty nice. It's still missing some stuff though. So I'm gonna do like I did with this roof. Panto is a cleaning fanatic, of course. Ah, <laughs> uh, probably isn't this. It's nice to have it a little bit clean for sure. Okay, maybe we should do like I did with this one, where I make the roof go up a little bit extra. I think that's gonna make it look a little bit better. Okay, we need a little bit more net worth and a little bit of food. Hopefully we can get our cook soon. Should be not far away. Looks like we have the spoon. So then we're gonna get Flargan to be our first cook. Very nice. Let's see if we can get a weaver also. Passionate the Lord. I'm so passionate to be the Lord. <laughs> uh, missed it. What's the building going to be? I haven't really decided. Really? Um, I mostly thought of like a bigger home for people. So we will see. I wanted to make it a little bit bigger than these houses. To give a little bit of extra space. We'll see. I mean, it, it could even be... It could be a place for them to, uh, like, have tables and drinking, so they can hang out, maybe? The barracks? <laughs> oh, this song makes me think so much of Star of Battle all the time. I wonder if it, if it reminds of the songs during the fall, maybe? I really feel like I gotta play Star of Battle because of this song soon. <laughs> Such a nice game. 